It's not the blue guy. It's not my guy over there. It's not Fitty. Could it be the actual magician? Did Fitty kill the magician? Let's check that the magician's still there. Oh, you're still there. I have no idea who that guy is. Have you not experienced him? No. I feel like I've done something wrong. <laughs> Bro decided to kill himself as well. He just didn't want that white world tendency in any of the arch stones. Not very good. I don't know why patches would be just in here and dead, also. Hopefully, I've not accidentally killed him by swinging my sword around like a lunatic before. <laughs> She is. Isn't there like a little baby or something up here? Or some weird thing that talks? It's the little like monk part. thing. Yeah. What, what is it? What does it do? I don't know. It just gave me more. Oh, what's that? Oh my god. Why is there another dead guy? What is going on? Why is there another dead guy? Storied warrior soul. I'm sorry. Please ask Google, why are there dead men in my nexus? Who's that? Oh, oh, is it who I read? You're kind of scary. Oh my god, I feel like this is the guy that's been killing people. I feel like his work is killing people. What is it? I have no business with you. So, there's this post on Reddit that says, who are the dead bodies that pop up in the next? Oh my god. <laughs> and the, t the first comment is, definitely not the guy in black armour with horns chuckling in the corner and muttering about how fun murder is. <laughs> oh. I think this guy god. might be killing everyone. <laughs> but I don't know what happens if you kill him. <laughs> I've not freed him. I have never figured out how to free him, and that's probably why people haven't been dying because he's just still there. <laughs> I have no business with you yet. <laughs> oh no! Why are you? If you free him and kill a boss, he goes to the nexus where there are two corpses of random NPCs. For every boss killed, he will kill one more NPC until they're all dead, except for Stockpile Thomas and the Blacks. <laughs> he kills every NPC? In the nexus, apart from the Stockpile guy and the Blacksmith, and obviously the level up lady. He'll kill. After he has killed all the NPCs that you would have killed for, excuse me, Mephistopheles. I don't know what that means. He 
tells you who he is and what his purpose is and then turns hostile against you and you have to kill him. When do you have to kill him? Well, you can kill him at any point, but after he kills all the NPC after he kills all the NPCs, he'll try and kill you anyway. Oh my god. I feel like he's gonna be really strong. What if I try and kill him now, but fail? Will he then try and kill me every I time I'm in the Nexus? I don't know. I would imagine so. Ah! This I'm scared! This dead guy in the Nexus. Stop coming. It has begun. <laughs> I'm so what, scared of this guy. I don't know what happens. I am dead. <laughs> oh god, no! The poor NPCs. Maybe it was actually patches. I mean, I don't, I don't think patches spawns in the Nexus after you meet him there because he never spawned in the Nexus. He's not in my Nexus. Naughty boy. I mean, he looks. I had a right to be terrified of him. Honestly. I just literally, I looked at him, I looked over at your screen as I read the thing that said, not the guy in black armour with horns, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, so those two dead thing people were just two random NPCs. So he's not but, technically killed anyone? No, yet. for every boss that you kill after this point, he will kill an NPC of his choosing. I don't want him to kill Fitty. He might kill Fitty. Well, I also don't want Fitty. him to kill girl Fitty. I quite like her. Should I kill him? I need to find out what the repercussions are of killing yeah. him. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Don't like you yet. Yeah, it's the silent chief. He is a deadly assassin. The player rescues you the next time entering the Nexus after defeating the boss, there'll be two unnamed corpses on the ground. One is on the outer stairs, and the other is at the second level on the top of the stairs. Yet will roam on a platform where you freed him so that he was actually killed. So you can safely come back to kill him. If he's left alone from this point, Yurt will begin killing other named NPCs around the Nexus in the following order. Two non-NPC bodies. Freak's apprentice. No! <laughs> he's next on the list. No! <laughs> Not my boyfriend. Oh, God. I'm he's, going... He's next. Then what? Then the acolyte of God? I don't know who that is. I'm guessing it's just one of the merchants. Then Patches. If you've got Patches. Then Saint Urbain. Whoever that is. Right, I need to end it. I need to kill him. What happens if you kill him? Well, he's dead then. What happens? Oh, it says. In order to prevent this, kill him immediately upon releasing him from the cage in Fool's Idol Archstone or immediately after finding the two unnamed corpses in the Nexus. <laughs> um, he'll allow you to backstab him up to three times before turning hostile apparently but that might have been that might be in the old version i don't know this here says he's not initially hostile he'll allow you to backstab him three times before turning well up to three times before turning i don't think i can backstab him i don't think i can get behind him currently he's 
I am terrified. <laughs> what can you find out? What happens if you fail? <laughs> like, how do I find that? I don't know. I mean, I do ultimately want to die in the Nexus, like. So, I need to kill him before doing another boss, or else he's going to kill my boyfriend. He's Gone from tower after failing to killing, but that's he's already gone from the tower, so I don't know. Should I just do it? Has he even got a sword? Where is his sword? He will have a sword somewhere. He's a deadly assassin. It is sheathed, I believe. I released your punched him a few times to see how strong he is and then let him go. Um, yeah, I think it will be fine. If worse comes to the worst, you can go to that statue and ask for forgiveness, I'm guessing, and that should reset him. True. Okay. I'm going to die. Oh, he's looking at me! I don't like his head moving. I don't like the way he looks at yeah, me. You think? Either Yurt dies or your boyfriend dies. Oh my god, he's so fucking creepy. <laughs> I can't cope with him. The fact he's hiding in the corner, just muttering to you about how he doesn't like, think life is precious. I want to see Yurt's face. I'm trying to zoom in into Yurt's helmet. Yeah, but I don't think this game is broken yeah, enough to allow that. Sad. They've actually created a character model that can't be phased into. <laughs> Hello, Yurt. <laughs> I feel like the name Yurt is not nearly menacing enough for this man. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> I've been having a blast since you released me. Okay. Oh, what do you mean? What have you been up to? Nothing, just business. Um, you know, where there was a corpse about 10 metres away from you, just over there. Do you know anything about that? Did you see anything? No. <laughs> no, uh, no one suspicious? No suspicious activity? No. Um, okay. Gonna kill him. <laughs> Gotta do it. Can't. Just press R1. Just press R1. Just go a little bit closer. And press R1. Just go a little bit closer and just press R1. What, what could happen? <laughs> Even if you feel in danger, if you could press R2. I might as well, to be honest. Sure, it's the first attack. My heart is racing, just saying it. My heart is literally the heart racing. Is I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. scared. I'm so scared. No! <laughs> Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. I would love if he just became hostile from that. Oh, I'm gonna faint after this. <laughs> I'm literally going to. You can't even lock onto him right now. Okay, that was R2. I'm gonna try R2 again. You've got him. Should I do it now? Yeah, do it now. Just press it. Just press R2. Yeah. Look at him. Oh. oh. No, you wish to die safe. Because you were naughty. Oh, Mephistopheles! <laughs> Who is Mephistopheles? Oh my god! I mean, he got his spiky hat. Fashion soul. <laughs> 